Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know that I haven't posted in such a long time, but I figured since it's like day seven of quarantine, I would film because I have nothing else to do. I ate ramen the other day at two in the morning because I'm literally that bored. This video is going to be my favorite jewelry and accessories that I would be wearing if I had anywhere to go other than my bed. I'll be right back with earrings. We're gonna start with earrings first. Okay, I'm back. I have a tray o earrings. You can, can you, okay. So first we're gonna start off with these, these horseshoe earrings. They're gold. They have little, um, little diamonds on the front and they open like this. I love gold jewelry. I feel like it complements my skin very nicely. Um, so these are my go-to's because I feel like studs make me look like a little kid because I'm already like so short and I have some childish features. I really like these earrings on a day-to-day -day basis just because they're really simple and they're really pretty and dainty and pretty. And that's enough additives. <laughs> Next in the gold jewelry family are these gold hoops. These were actually a gift. I'll try and link everything below if I can find them. These gold hoops are, I think up until these, I didn't have any hoops. These are my favorite hoops, the only hoops I've ever had. What I like about these is that, okay, so they're a circle, right? And it's like, how in the world do you get your ear in? You open it because like the little thing goes inside the other thing. It's really cool. So these are my favorite gold hoops because I just own so many. I think they're thin enough and they're such a pretty shade of gold. Like, I don't know, people don't really make gold like this anymore. So these are these, I love them. I think they go with just about everything and they make any outfit look really, really good. Okay, next are some pearl earrings that I just recently got for a school dance. It was our winter formal. I love these earrings. I've worn them about seven million times since. That's clearly an exaggeration. I love these earrings. I think they're so pretty and elegant and very sophisticated um, because the pearl dangles. Something about the fact that it's a dangling pearl. Ah, oh, look at that. That makes me feel super old and like a working woman and grown up. My next pair of earrings are silver. They're dangles. They're like textured and they've got jewels in them. These also make me feel very, I don't know if old is the world word, grown up, sophisticated. Again, working woman. When I wear these, I feel like I should be the CEO of something. Nope, I'm filming, get out, I'm filming. I'm filming, get out. The next pair of earrings I got off of one of my favorite places to shop, I'm not even kidding, Yes Style. They're these, oh, droplet earrings, but they've got like flower clusters at the top. But I feel like they're so dainty, so springy, very fitting for this new season. Where I am, we're doing online school, at least until April. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to graduate at this point. Comment down below, how do you feel? about this whole online school situation. Here are these flower cluster droplet earrings. I love these. I love these. I think they're so dainty, so pretty, very delicate. Oh, can't tell me that isn't pretty. I literally won't believe you. Okay, I realized that my last two earrings, like in conjunction with the pair that I just showed you, all three of those earrings are all from YesStyle. So it's fitting, segue, that I have a code, 5% off of any order, my joy, my code. Thank you and good night. <laughs> These earrings, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of have a thing for dangly, dainty earrings. There are these pink flowers on these gold ropes. There's three on each ear. When I first saw them, I was like, okay, I need these now. And then I got them and I was like, oh, I don't know. They might be like too long. Like in what, I mean, I'm a student full time. So like in what world would I wear these on like a regular basis? But guys, when I tell you these are so easy to style, 
like with what I'm wearing now, I'm literally wearing leggings and this shirt and it like it matches. Now I probably wouldn't go out in the leggings with this shirt. I mean, it was like two bucks, you guys. Yes, style is where it's at. On to the last pair of earrings. Okay, these earrings are a little edgy. And by a little edgy, I mean super edgy. But they're some of my favorites when I'm dressing up or like when I have more masculine features to my outfit. They're asymmetrical, which I think is so cool. Asymmetrical, but like still matching enough to where it's like, okay, those are definitely like a pair. So what I like about these is that not only are they different from each other, but they're different from other earrings. This chain clasps on the back of your ear instead of having like your regular just like regular earring backing if that made any sense they make me feel really cool like i should be a part of like a biker gang or something because that's totally how that works they're actually really easy to style and i did not expect that at all i thought oh my gosh like i'm gonna buy these and this will just be like my edgy buy i literally wear these all the time i put on these earrings because i think they're such a fashion statement because they're asymmetrical and i feel really cool wearing them that is all the earrings that i have been loving now we're gonna move on to rings my first ring that i want to show is the one that i'm wearing right now mainly because i don't ever take it off but i like it because it's a simple gold ring I think it's a staple if you're gonna have any jewelry at all. Like if you wear rings, you need to get a chunk, not a chunky, but like a wider gold just band. I don't know if you can see, but they're like little diamonds or jewels, diamond, diamond-like things, like embedded in the gold on the top of the band so that when you put it on, it's like, oh yeah, it's just a simple. Okay, sorry, someone called me. Um, But you can, yeah, it's, yep, yep, super simple my faves i have two others both of which are from my grandma's i got them for my 16th birthday the first one is this one i love it it's got one big stone and then two little stones on the side of it it's very simple um my grandma's got these and i was looking at it in the car and i was like grandma are these real diamonds and she was like well why wouldn't they be and i was like i'm 16 and she said every girl needs to get her first pair of diamonds at 16. Or her first set or her first diamonds at 16. I got the this ring and then the other ring I got also has real diamonds in it, but they're much, much, much smaller. This ring that I wear a lot, I don't know. These are very close to my heart just because they came from my grandma's and then also I genuinely like them. That's it for rings. I love these three, I change those two out a lot more than I change out this one just because this one doesn't move. Okay, so for the necklaces section, since I don't wear necklaces or bracelets all that often, I'm going to make them into one. So starting with the necklaces portion of this section, the first one being this, it's a little peace sign I got from one of my teachers, actually. She is the closest thing I have to a second mom. I love her to death. I don't know, I have no words to say. Just because I love this woman so much, Miss Trudgeon, if you're watching, I love you. She gave me this, it was kind of like an award because I went on a trip with her. It was like our second to last day. We were about to get on the bus back home and she was handing out awards and I got the Peacemaker, Peacemaker? Peacemaker Award. Her words, not mine. This is gonna, <laughs> at the risk of sounding conceited or cocky, but I kept peace and was kind almost to a fault and that is to this day one of the best compliments i've ever received and i'm very thankful for ah, this necklace and the woman that gave it to me on to the second and last necklace this one i'm obsessed with it i wish it wasn't such a statement so i could wear it all the time but it's very france inspired it's a charm necklace so it has a paris charm a little bow a little charm that says we a fleur de lis. I don't know how to say it. I'll, I'll work on my French. Um, and then like a little bottle of perfume. There's little tiny pearls on the chain and black thread and I love it. I love this necklace. I think it's so fashion forward. Oh, it's so much and it's so cute and I love it. I love it. I'm obsessed with this. I wear this a lot with the pearl earrings from before and my black turtleneck. It's kind of like my go-to 
working lady, fashion forward, I need an invitation to New York Fashion Week because that's such an aesthetic. Anyway, that is it for necklaces, moving on to bracelets. Okay, for bracelets, I don't wear many. One that my mom got me for Christmas, uh, oh, Christmas of 2018. It's a simple gold band, it opens right there, and it says one of a kind. This one I also don't take off. She says that she literally slips it off her arm. It's just because it's upside down and I don't know when that happened. Next is another bracelet that my mom got for me. I got it for my eighth grade graduation. It has one of my two birthstones on it and then my initials right here. I really like this bracelet, again, just because it has a lot of sentimental value and I don't know, my mommy gave it to me, so. Next is a bracelet that I got for Christmas years ago from my best friend, one of my two best friends, Alex. It says, friends don't lie on it. <laughs> I love this bracelet because it just kind of like signifies our friendship just because like, We've been friends for so long and we were watching Stranger Things at the same time. So I guess I don't wear it often just because I don't like a whole bunch of bracelets and like the sound when they hit each other. Friendship. Last for bracelets, it's actually kind of like an anklet, but I don't really wear those anymore. Um, but it's this simple double chain. This one has just like the little beads on a chain and this one has like dots and dashes. It kind of reminds me of Morse code actually. Um, and then a little tiny cross right there at the end. Or I like to think of it since the insides are like the, in the turns of it, this is not gonna make sense, but it actually looks more like, a, like the North Star to me. That is all of the jewelry that not all the jewelry I have. I have so much more jewelry. It's actually kind of ridiculous because I don't wear all of it. But that is all the jewelry that I'm going to show today. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, don't worry. I have literally so much time on my hands now. I will come up with something better that may suit your fancy. I am going to do b-roll now. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.